Welcome back to Juice and Java. I'm joined now by Ching Cheng and Patrick of the Chinese Students and Scholars Association here on campus. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you for having Hello, us. Hello, Jared. Hey. Patrick, starting with you, this past couple of days has been the Chinese Spring Festival and also the Chinese New Year. Talk a little bit about what that is. Chinese Spring Festival is basically like a, a festival similar to Christmas to the Western countries. Uh, people get together, get around with their families, and have a nice dinner. And normally the festival will continue till like late at night until like 12 o'clock, which symbols like the beginning of the new year. And historically, Chinese New Year was designed for farmers to rest after like a year of harvesting and so that they could sit, sit around with their family, not to worry about any labors and just sit and enjoy the meal. So what is this holiday similar to for something that we celebrate here in the United States? I would say definitely Thanksgiving and Christmas. So a lot of people, families join together and have a nice meal, yeah. do something like that? Yeah, definitely. Now here on campus, we had a celebration. And Cheng Cheng, I want to talk to you a little bit about that. That yeah. was in the Shine Student Center. What, what happened on that celebration? Well, we organized several um, activities celebrating the Chinese New Year. And one of the big, biggest main event is the Chinese New Year Gala, Spring Festival Gala. And on that event, we have um, like nine, around 900 audience come to our event. We have um, spring banquet serving Chinese traditional food for them that we usually did at home. And also we have serious like um, um, performance for them to enjoy. So basically it's like getting together and having fun and celebrate the Chinese New Year together. Now I understand this year was a very big celebration, bigger right. than some of the years in the past. Right. How many people showed up? Uh, yeah, 900, around 900. 900. And also we have some special guests, like the Vice Chancellor, uh, Chancellor uh, Eric Spinsmaner, and also uh, the Dean of Maxwell, and a lot of, lot of uh, professors and uh, Chinese faculties. Now, Patrick, back to you. I know every year there's a different uh, animal, I guess, that represents the new year. What was What is this year's? This year's the year of the rabbit. According to the Chinese zodiac, uh, last year was the year of the tiger, and, and next year will be the year of the dragon. Mm -hmm. Chinese zodiacs are symbols of animals representing each year, and uh, it cycles 12, 12 years in a cycle. And, well, the year of the rabbit mostly symbols, like, wealth and fortune. So now, also, I know, uh, along with this celebration, we did some decorations around campus. Yeah. Where were these decorations, and what do they mean? The decorations are mostly in Bird Library. Uh, they normally, like, decorations would be in red, because red in Chinese means that kind of, like, exciting and warmth. Yeah. yeah. And other kind of decorations are, mo like, most involved with lanterns and the symbols of uh, bright future. Now, Cheng Cheng, mm -hmm. a lot of people on campus might be wondering, how can I get involved mm -hmm. uh, with this organization? And do I have to be Chinese? Can I be, you know, another ethnicity or nationality to get involved? How can I they think, do that? Um, well, our organization is open to the whole campus. And maybe for now, the most directly and easiest way to get involved uh, with us is go to the Bird Library and enjoy all the big displays that we put up. and. Uh, Furthermore, we also have a series of other activities going on, like um, the Chinese um, book collection program that we were gonna have a long-term um, cooperation with the Bird Library, and we will like um, together buy some some books and uh, put up a whole collection for the whole campus. Anyone who is interested in studying Chinese or uh, want Great. to learn this culture, they can go to the Bird Library and uh, pick up a book they like. Great. Great. Yeah. Thank Cheng, you. Cheng, Cheng, Patrick, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. Thank you. And Melissa will be back next to talk with a director of the Vagina Monologues. We'll be right back.